Hello here, Chris from Photosaurus. Going to give you a quick tutorial on how to power up and power down your Stage 2 range extender kit for the Phantom 1 and 2. Um, this kit does not work with the Vision Series because the, the Vision Series uh, copters, the frequencies are inverted. On the Phantom 1 and 2, the transmitter is going to use a 2.4 gigahertz and the video is going to use a 5.8. Um, so this, this video only applies to the Phantom 1 and the Phantom 2. Uh, I'm not going to go into the FPV kit because a lot of people may not have an FPV kit. So this video is going to explain to you how to power up uh, everything on the transmit side. So with that being said, the first thing you always want to make sure is that your antennas are connected. Um, never operate any radio controlled or wireless equipment without an antenna. It's a good way to burn up your receiver and your transmitter. Uh, you'll notice on our FPV monitor and our amplified transmitter here, we have our antennas already connected, as well as the video link um, antenna on our copter for our GoPro. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to turn on the power to the transmitter. Okay. Um, <clears throat> once you've turned the power on, you're going to flip the unit over and you're going to notice a battery pack and an amplifier. Um, the second thing you're going to do is you're just going to touch that power button. All right, the battery pack is going to power on the amplifier. Uh, in this case, with this being a 2.4 gigahertz amp, we're transmitting out of the radio through the amp. So this red light here signals an uplink, which means we're transmitting out. If this were on a downlink side uh, of a Vision Plus, for instance, this light would be uh, green, signifying that we are downloading video. So. Um, you know, for this particular setup, the Phantom 1 and Phantom 2, where you're transmitting through the amp, this light should always be red when it's in use. Uh, once you have everything ready here, you're going to move over to the helicopter. Um, you're going to actually power the unit up after you've powered the transmitter up. All right. Now, once you're completely done flying, you're ready to put your gear away, first thing you're going to do is you're going to power down the copter. Okay, that's the most important thing. The second thing you're going to do is you're just going to come over here and you're going to cut the radio switch off to the transmitter. Now, the, the interesting thing about this kit is you'll notice that the battery pack is still on and so is the amplifier. Uh, this particular kit though, you don't have to power the battery down and you don't have to unplug anything. You just leave it alone and after 30 seconds it will automatically shut down on its own. Uh, so again, no need to unplug anything or unscrew anything. Just leave everything the way it is. By the time you finish taking your props off or putting your other gear away, this piece will automatically power down and it will be good enough to put back in your uh, gear bag. Now, once everything's powered down, as you see here, then it's safe to go ahead and unscrew your antennas. Uh, other than that, happy flying.